one big thing. On Saturday night, I was coming down the stairs here at the office, and I walked by a giant wall of monitors. Those, those are them right there. And I saw a team kicking a field goal with no time on the clock, apparently to win a game. And I didn't think much of the moment beyond that. And then I saw an accounting of what happened in that game between Old Dominion and Western Kentucky. It was impossible to even imagine. There was no doubt we were going to show it on Saturday night, but the Dodgers make the World Series. Ohio State gets rocked by Purdue, and then the Lakers and Rockets decided it was time to fight. And that last little curveball right before the show started meant that this impossible Conference USA tilt hit the cutting room floor. Then on Sunday, well, it's week seven in the NFL, but this moment is too good not to be shared on the show before it's too late, and the time to show it is right now. Bowling Green, Kentucky on a windy Saturday night with Old Dominion trailing late by seven, by seven. And you see that in terms of explosive offenses, they're not one of them. So when they get the ball 79 yards away with a buck, let's call it a buck 30 on the clock down seven, the odds of tying it up aren't good. And Blake LaRusse's pass to Stephen Williams is no good. And then you got, you got Isaiah Harper running around. Oh, where's the line of scrimmage? Now, this isn't Canadian football. That's a flag. So kind of a rough start here to the old drive. But now it's fourth and two. Okay, fourth and two. They're on their own 30 with like 40 seconds left. But hey, first down. So they need to put their foot on the gas quick. Here we go. Ooh, pass into tight coverage there. Keon White, 31 yards, move the chains. Then Harper, remember the guy that was running around, didn't know where he was? Oh, he knows what he's doing. Give me that. Spins out of a couple of tacklers, and he's in business. They're down there close. Got a chance to tie this thing up. I'll point out now, Western Kentucky is a four-point favorite, so this could have been a bad beat, but it's way worse than that. Touchdown now. Travis Fulgham, extra point good. We're now tied. And at this point, everybody, including those involved in the game, they were thinking, all right, I guess we go to overtime. But there was, there was still time on the clock. And as it turned out, as you'll see, extra time. Lots of extra time. Pooch kick off to the 30, then a handoff. Handoff here in Western Kentucky. All right, well, Garland LaFrance gets him a little closer. They call a timeout because you never know, right? Davis Shanley drops back. Looked like they were going to pass and lateral and go pitchy, pitchy, woo woo. Except what happens here is Pat Toll with that extra little shove and can't do that. That's roughing the passer. And that leads to untime down number one. Bring on the kicker. It is a windy, chilly night in Bowling Green. And Alex Ranella kicks it, but that's right into the teeth of the wind. Watch where this lands. That's way, way short. But we're, we've got a problem. We have a dozen monarchs on the field. That's one too many monarchs. By law, you're allowed but 11. And that now leads to untime down number two. Bring Ranella back out. Kicking into the wind. Obviously, Old Dominion saw that first one land short, so here's what they've done. They've, they've posted a guy back there. That's Isaiah Harper. They got a play called special. They set up a wall of blockers. This is about to be kick six, just like Auburn. Here he goes. You got to be kidding. Old Dominion's going to win on this. Oh, it looks like he's boxed in there. Did he step out of bounds? No, but whoa, 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 whoa. What do we have there? What do we have there? The officials huddle up, and they realize that Mason Brooks has grabbed a hold of Harper's face mask. That's a personal foul. And yep, that now leads to untimed down number three. And that means that Nick Rice, in absolutely remarkable, impossible, unfathomable circumstances, is on the field to win the game for Old Dominion. And he has done just that. And that is how a team who was leading by a touchdown with less than 30 seconds on the clock, lost a game in regulation. It was just the second game that Old Dominion has won. The other was against a then ranked Virginia Tech team. Sports are goofy, but they are the best, always. Unless you're a Hilltopper fan, in which case, from the heart, prayers up.